what does the perfect run look like? Here's what I would say. If we could boil it all down into the essence of the perfect run, perfect dog, it would be a dog that laid out a performance all on its own with no interaction from the handler, from the scout, from anywhere else. It would just simply lay down a run, point its birds right up there, all in order, next, next, finish strong, done. All right, field trialers, doggers, we're going to talk about the performance, and then we're going to talk about the judging that measures the performance. Can a dog do it all on its own with, without any interaction from a handler and a scout, without the hooping and howling and the whistle blowing and all these things that are helpful aids to the performance of a dog? Well, sure, it happens. I'm going to tell you about a time that uh, I watched uh, some years ago. Owner Dale Windhorse uh, running a dog by the name of Zumbro Ace. Now, Zumbro Ace, a little pointer that was beautiful. Front high, rear high, beautiful straight tail and a beautiful gait. This is uh, again in Canada and the second time that Dale is ever going to run this dog on horseback. Dale doesn't even own a horse, right? Had to borrow a nice, nice beautiful new Haggis saddle. Um, well, Dale cut the dog loose and old Zumbro shoots off on this bright, sunny, cloud, puff, cloudy day, you know. And uh, pretty soon somebody in the gallery called Point and there he was standing under some pine trees all lit up. One sunbeam on him. He looked like the Christmas tree in the White House all lit up. Everything in order. Off they go again. Yeah, and again and again and again. Well, this is a dog that uh, had won some championships being handled by uh, Travis Galhouse in some open trials. Um, by the way, a nice shout out to... Uh, Travis, he has a great little uh, YouTube channel started. Go there, subscribe. I'll leave the link below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe. You know what to do. Well, Zumbro Ace, he's maybe on his fifth find by now. And there he is again, deep in the woods and all in order. Dogs off and over the hill and they call pickup. So off Dale goes, running after him with that horse and borrowed saddle. And we all come up over the hill and there's Dale laying there on the hill and the horse laying there and saddle parts laying here and there and, and they look like they're on the bad side of a western shootout. Well, a little bit of time and Dale was up and on his feet with some help and he, he was all good and a few minutes later the horse was up and all was good, no harm done and no dog. Where's the dog? Well, about the only time the scout had to go out and there he was up in some island calling point again and we all went up there and that sunbeam glowing on them and birds flying out of there like the 4th of July. All in order. Well, about this time, the rest of us knew we were running for just a good old practice. There was pretty much no way we were going to win win this trial. And and indeed, Dale did win the trial. Old Zumbro, <laughs> Zumbro Ace was up on the podium. And again, we talked about expect the unexpected because it's going to happen. And it happened. And uh, that was the only... Uh, I believe the only amateur championship won by that dog, Zumbro, but the dog went on to win 12 more championships, a national chucker championship, etc. Anyhow, this is what uh, what would be the ideal run, if you will. Dale really didn't have to handle the dog at all. There was no hooping and hollering, no, uh, no scouting, no whistle blowing. Um, all this is good. Dog and pony show, though, it was non-existent. This was all the dog. He did everything. Let's talk about the judges judging this uh, ideal performance of this uh, well-put-together dream dog, if you will. Well, what would, what would the judges have to look past? Well, like Lady Justice blindfolded, right? Our judges need to be uh, uh, blind to some things as well. How about, uh, how about the breed of the dog? How about the breeder, the handler, the scout, the fancy horse the handler's riding on, <laughs> the politicking that the handler's doing, so maybe our ears too. So that's it for today. We're going to talk more about this. Remember, I'm just boiling this down, right? Just as for new trialers that are uh, starting out, new trialers that are frustrated at times. I'll tell you what, you're going to find a lot of reward. Expect the unexpected. It happens. And I'm giving you example after example. Subscribe, hit the like button, and bell, uh, click on that for your notifications. That's it for today. All right, thanks for watching.